Good evening and welcome to the Catamount Football Show. My name is Ron Ward. I'm the athletic director and I'll be your host tonight. Tonight on the show we're going to be talking about um, Friday night's ball game against Lafayette. We'll also be looking at highlights from that ball game uh, with Coach Land. And then we're going to talk some about uh, this coming week uh, with homecoming uh, versus Heritage High School from Catoosa County. So after these messages, uh, join us for the remainder of the show. Got car problems? That's no problem for AAA Transformers Transmission Specialists. Bring your foreigner domestic vehicle into AAA Transformers and have our certified master technicians perform the most comprehensive diagnostics over any other shop. AAA Transformers utilizes the latest technology so you can rest assured that you get the proper diagnosis the first time so only necessary repairs are made. Save time and money on all your brake, AC, tune-up, and transmission needs. All backed by the best warranty in the business. That's AAA Transformers Transmission Specialists. When is the last time you have compared your car, life, or health insurance costs? At Advanced Insurance Strategies, we know your time is valuable. Therefore, we have developed AdvancedInsuranceStrategies.com. You can now go online anytime, anywhere, and get quick and easy quotes for your car, life, or health insurance from respected companies such as Blue Cross Blue Shield of Georgia, Assurant Health, Alliant Health Plans, and Drive Insurance from Progressive. Receive unparalleled customer service from a local insurance agency while using AdvancedInsuranceStrategies.com. Thank you again for joining us uh, for the Catamount Football Show. I'm here with Coach Land. Coach, uh, Friday night we went out to Lafayette to play them on their homecoming. Uh, tell me uh, what you remember about the ball game Friday night. Well, it's always an interesting dynamic when you're someone else's homecoming date. Yeah. Uh, that's not something we're used to at Dalton, and, and, uh, but over the last you know, 10 years, because of scheduling, uh, we've wound up being somebody's homecoming date each year, yeah. and uh, <clears throat> you know it's 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 something that obviously we get a lot of mileage out of. <laughs> in the, in yeah, there. go in the locker room. You know, yeah. you get a lot out of that. But uh, you know, it, it was a great atmosphere. It was another great atmosphere, like the you know Friday night prior. Uh, our fans came out. Uh, it was great mm -hmm. to see all of our fans that made yeah. that that track over there. And you know, starting with with, with Lafayette, <clears throat> uh, Coach Gable is a is a great man. He's somebody that as I got into this profession, he was one of the first coaches that I met. Jim Bennett introduced him to me over 20 years ago. Uh, he's coached at the college level, <clears throat> and he's coached at the high school level. And uh, he's just a really really special guy, particularly to our staff. Uh, and one of our owns over there, Jason Potee right. as well. So uh, so we knew they were going to be a well coached team. Um, he's played a lot of young players, right? And uh, you know, when you look at a record, a one in five, uh, and you'll hear some of our boys maybe even talk about this later today in the mm -hmm. show. Uh, it, it, it creates a little bit of a you know you can't get away from the obvious, right? I mean, they're not one in five because they're losing games by a field goal, you know. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, when you look at when you look at Lafayette and you look at a team that we really look at every year after year, they've got athletes. And you've got athletes there with last names like Suttles and mm -hmm. Ramsey, you know, guys that have had success against us over the years. And some of those former Catamounts out there remember those mm -hmm. names. So you've got those kids that are there. And so, you know, to me, playing a team like this sometimes is more, more dangerous because they're playing with house money. They don't That's have right. anything to lose. So, uh, you know, I thought our kids did an outstanding job of, of, of listening to their coaches this week. Our coaches had an excellent game plan. Um, you know, there were some things that we knew that they would not be able to do against our defense, but we knew that there were some things that, that they could probably do which might create some, some opportunities, particularly if they could get some of their skilled guys one-on-one -on -one against some of right. ours. And uh, Coach Carpenter and staff did a great job of, 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 of using our defense and kind of switching some things up that we normally do uh, to be sure that they never got those one-on-one -on -one capabilities. Conversely, on the on the you know offensive side, it was just a, a game of consistency for us. Mm -hmm. You know, we're we're still trying to eliminate those mistakes. You know, and we still had a couple drive killers in there. But right. you know, the great thing about that was that you know they overcame those, still got our points. Um, just did a great job of staying within our game plan. Even though we only had one completion for 65 yards, uh, we had you know seven pass attempts, which kind of opens up our offense a little bit more. We also were able to get in back into the uh, the groove of running our wildcat offense with right. with Brandon Dale, and so that's neat. You know, so yeah. when you kind of be able to, to involve all of that, uh, you know, in the second half we had a, a down, uh, a, you know, not a down uh, half, but we had we knew going into that. 
we were going to probably get some more points. And so our right. objective by the end of the game was to try to play as many kids as we could. And you got a so, lot of kids in there. We did, and it, that's exciting. It's yeah. exciting for the kids. It's exciting for the coaches. And I know it's exciting for their parents and their girlfriends and everybody else up there. So right. overall, I felt like it was a good night. Yeah. I really did. Good night. Um, you know, offensively, you came out and you, and you hit them in the mouth. I mean, right, right, right from the get-go. And then your defense throws a shutout. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, it sounds like the plan worked. <clears throat> well, the great thing about shutouts is it means Moon Pie Monday. Oh, you know? really? So, yeah, so okay. all the defense gets Moon Pies on okay. those days. So, those guys start smelling those Moon Pies, you know, about oh. the second quarter. Uh, and those guys work hard for that, and the coaches talk a lot about that. You know, the thing about our defense, we had six straight three-and-out right. series. One of those being with an interception. And, you know, that, those are the, you know, games are made up of these small goals that you set. And the average person just says, well, we won or we lost. You know, what you don't realize, if you're watching a game on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, you know, some coach is plugging some player and you're talking about little goals along the way. And that's one that we talked about was how do we get on and off the field. And this week our coaches just really, really preached third down, third down, third right. down and being successful. And, and uh, you know, they had, a, they had some great players. They had this one kid that was a tight end, big kid, that went up having to play him at fullback. So with that being the case, we were very happy. We thought it was a good win. Glad we're ready to put that away, and now right. we pick up and get ready to play the Heritage Generals. Right, and we'll talk about that in just a little <coughs> That's bit. That's right. That's right. Uh, we'll be back right after these messages. AstroTurf is grateful to have been a part of this community over the last... Welcome back to the show. Uh, I'm here with one of our Catamount football players. Um, why don't you introduce yourself to the audience? Uh, I'm Leighton Reese. I'm a senior. I play defensive end, and I, I also play uh, inside on the line. Leighton, um, <clears throat> standing on the sidelines and sitting up in the stands with, uh, with my wife, you were all over the place Friday night. Uh, it was fun to watch. Uh, what stands out uh, to you from Friday night's ball game against Lafayette? Uh, I mean, I mean, on myself, I got those sacks, and that just felt really great for me. And I mean, our defense just played amazing, and I just love being a part of it. I mean, I, I really don't think that they got past the 50 yard line, if I remember right. But I mean, I just think we played good together, and we got to keep that up this this coming up week against Heritage. How does it feel as a member of the defensive unit to throw a shutout at another team? Uh, I'm, I, it's really overwhelming almost because you know just like practicing through the week you're like oh god practice and but it pays off at the end it's just sure. nice to know that yeah. you know yeah um, <clears throat> I know that at the beginning of the, before the season started they had you at uh, the coaches had you at uh, defensive end mm -hmm. and all that <clears throat> then I noticed midway through the season they've been moving you around uh, I, I'm assuming that that's because of they need you <laughs> there. Uh, what's it been like for you? What kind of adjustments have you had to make uh, to play multiple positions? Um, really, it's kind of the same position in a way. It's just at inside, I kind of have more of a free thing to do because mm -hmm. it's like they see that I do one thing or the other. And outside, you kind of have to squeeze and you got to watch quarterback. You got to get contained. So, I mean, it's... It's less responsibility inside, but it's basically the same things, so. Okay. Um, we have uh, homecoming this coming Friday night, your senior year, mm. um, we, against Heritage. Uh, what do you know right now about Heritage? Um, I mean, I know from what I've heard from other people that, I mean, their record might not be good, but they have, they have pretty well athletes on their team, so you gotta kinda, it's kinda like a game last week where you gotta kinda just play 
your hardest and you know just hope everything works out for the best. Okay. Listen, um, you're finishing your first semester of your last year of high school mm -hmm. and the future is just right around the corner. Uh, what's, uh, what do you see on the horizon for you? I mean, I'm hoping I can go to college somewhere and uh, I mean just, I'd love to play football at the next level. I mean, that's something I've always wanted to do. But I mean, even if I can just get into college, it'd be nice because I, I, I really want to make something of myself in sure. the later years. Well, I have every confidence that having you keep putting some tape together like you did Friday <laughs> night. I think that dream may come true. Listen, thanks for joining me tonight, and good Thank luck you. in homecoming, okay? Thank you. Uh, that, it's my privilege to just talk with Layton, and we'll be back after these messages. Wood, 299. Wood, 159. Set. Mike Jones here, and you better blister Carpet Express. We have three-quarter inch hardwood for $2.99 a square foot. We have engineered wood for $1.59 a square foot. And to help you reach your goal to put wood in your home, Carpet Express is offering a 25 cent a square foot rebate. So rush into Carpet Express while supplies last, because everybody's out to get their quarterback. Have you ever heard the term, your eyes are your expressions, the windows to your soul? But when your eyelids look tired and they start to sag, it will make you look much older than you actually are. There is a simple surgical procedure called a blepharoplasty or eyelid tuck, which can help to rejuvenate and redefine the contours around your eyelids. It will even improve your fields of vision and a portion may even be covered by insurance. We can help redefine how others see you. Thank you for joining us again for the show, and I've got a couple of uh, our football players here with me now. These are our specialists, and I'll start uh, by first letting them introduce themselves. Um, Daniel, we'll start with you. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Daniel Palacios. I'm a senior, and I'm a kicker. I'm Grant Sain. I'm a junior, and I'm the deep snapper. Okay, Grant, um, start with you. We, uh, Friday night, we played at, at Lafayette for their homecoming. Um, what uh, stands out to you about the ball game Friday night? Well, <clears throat> you know it's going well, and I'm not running down the field a whole lot. Well, I'm just standing there and, you know, snapping it to Painter to go kick a field goal. That means you're not getting many kickoffs. Means we're not punting too much. <laughs> yeah, okay. It means we're scoring a lot. Okay. All right. Daniel, how about you? What stands out to you from the ball game Friday night? Um, I enjoyed uh, seeing my team score, keep on scoring. And I um, also enjoyed, I got the opportunity to go and kick off uh, PATs. Mm -hmm. So it was really intense just going out there and seeing your team score and you go out there and kick and it's just overwhelming. Now how many points did you score uh, when kicking uh, Friday night? I uh, kicked uh, three, field, three PATs, so it went three, three for three. Okay, did you have a field goal Friday night? Uh, we were, but ended up going... Uh, uh, well, that was the fake, yeah, wasn't it? Okay. The fake, and so... How'd you feel about that? I mean, you're out there ready to do, the, do your job and then they, they change the play on you. Um, yeah, I was out there getting ready and I see our holder, Brandon Painter, on my right side, and I'm a left left footer, so I'm so I was just like, oh well, I mean, I have to actually go out for the play, and I was like, oh well, I'm gonna just count my steps to uh, my right, and I was like, oh well, Brandon, just switch, switch, but we kept on going, and we went, and we got a penalty, so I had to scoop back, and we actually we were going for this one for the field goal, but ended up uh, Brandon didn't hear the play. So we didn't. We went for the fake again, and that's when it didn't go well. So. Yeah, that wasn't pretty. Okay, uh, <laughs> let me ask you this, uh, Grant. Is, is the long snapper? There's a a lot that goes along with that job. Uh, what what kind of checklist do you have to to go through? Well, first of all, I need to figure out who's kicking because we got a lefty and a righty. And and you got to do that upside kicking. down. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, really, it doesn't change because I'm putting it in the same spot every time, and making sure I hear the correct call from the sideline. Okay. Um, Daniel, now this is your first year of football, is that correct? Yes, As sir. a senior, uh, yes, what's, that been, what's that experience been like? Um, throughout the past two years, I've been running cross country, and I was just like, well, my senior year, I want to try something new. A bunch of friends were telling me, oh, you should go out for football and be a kicker. So I was like, yeah, I mean, I'll try, I'll see. And just one day, I told Coach Chiefs, uh, my soccer coach and he's like, yeah, you should go. And he recommended uh, he recommended me with uh, Coach Land. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's I regret now not doing it my freshman year. Right. And 
now, but at least I got an experience doing it my senior year, so it was pretty fun. Um, listen, this coming Friday night is our homecoming. Uh, Daniel, this will be your uh, first and last homecoming as a Catamount football player. Uh, Grant, this will be your third. Yes, um, we'll start with you, Grant. Uh, what do you know about Heritage um, High School's uh, football team? Well, you know, their record doesn't show how they play. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know what they're going to bring to the table, and we know what we're going to bring to the table. Okay. And we're just going to go at it. How about you, Daniel? What have the coaches talked to you about uh, about Heritage? Uh, they say, I mean, on paper they might not look uh, as good, but I mean, any team can have their spotlight, and I mean, we just have to play our hardest, and like we did this past week against Lafayette, and just bring it all out. Okay. Well, guys, listen. Thank you so much. I appreciate uh, the job that you're doing, and uh, good luck Friday night. And uh, we'll be back after these messages. No problem with the deadline. Yeah, our internet service connection flies now that we have OptiLink. You're the star with OptiLink from Dalton Utilities. Local customer service, lightning fast internet, stellar phone and television at affordable rates. I'd like to thank Mike and Brian and IT for making all of this possible as well as Helen and personnel and my great OptiLink installer. Don't you deserve the star treatment? Sign up with OptiLink today. With OptiLink, I'm the star. Train like a pro at Performance Sports Academy. Get one-on-one -on -one training from former professional and collegiate players, featuring indoor baseball and softball training facilities, ground ball area, three pitching mounds, and four batting cages. Performance Sports Academy is also available for team rentals. Call 706-537-3169 today and train like a pro at Performance Sports Academy. When the diagnosis is canceled, More than just a place to eat. Enjoy community, tradition, and unbeatable homestyle cooking at the Oakwood Cafe, located in historic downtown Dalton. Our food, fair prices, and friendly staff have made the Oakwood Cafe one of the fastest growing businesses in Georgia. We offer catering services that can bring our distinctive flavor anywhere. We also provide the opportunity to team up with us through franchising. Whether you're a newcomer or a regular, stop by and have the dining experience you've needed. Come feel at home with us at the Oakwood Cafe. Welcome back to the Catamount Football Show. Again, I, my name's Ron Ward. I'm the athletic director at Dalton High School, and it's my privilege to be here with Cole Bennett, uh, one of our assistant coaches. Cole, I can remember doing this just uh, seems like yesterday when you were one of the players, so uh, it's kind of fun for me to see you now in this role. Um, last Friday night, uh, we had uh, Lafayette uh, at their place, their homecoming. Um, tell me what um, sticks out to you about the ball game Friday night. <clears throat> Uh, that game is uh, one of those ones that it's tough to coach because their record's not indicative of their performance as a team. Um, they have a lot of talented players on film. They had one of the best tight ends I'd seen that we'd played thus far. And, you know, fortunate or unfortunate, he ended up playing fullback, you know, that night. Um, so it's a, it's a tough game to prepare for those kids. Uh, you know, the, the record's one thing, but their talent's something else. And mm -hmm. when you're trying to defend a, a dangerous team like that, they can literally right. score uh, almost any time they touch the ball. Uh, it, it was a difficult task, but, you know, our kids perform well, obviously. Yeah. Now, what part of the, um, of the, the team uh, is your responsibility as a coach? I wear many hats, uh, but primarily I'm with the defensive ends. I uh, also help with the freshman team, and you know we started crossing over here late in the season, and I get to help with the tight ends now some during practice. Okay, let's start with the defensive ends then, because it looked to me from the sidelines as a spectator <clears throat> that our tight ends were really active and uh, made a lot of plays for us Friday night. Yeah, they they uh, they played hard. Um, we're kind of rotating some guys there. You know, Hardaway uh, is you know been our anchor. Uh, we swung Marlowe out, uh, Ethan Marlowe, this week uh, and last week to play. And then 
Leighton Reese has been flopping back and forth in between the inside and the outside, depending on the formation and down and distance type uh, that we're getting. So those guys are playing hard. Uh, Chase Todd is also playing a lot. He's, he's improved dramatically in the past few weeks. Uh, so all those guys are getting to play, uh, and they're all you know really playing well, which is fortunate for us down the stretch here. Uh, your high school career, you were tied in, and so now you're saying you're getting to work with those guys. Um, tell us uh, about some of the guys that are stepping up uh, as tight ends for us. You know, Will Irwin is obviously a starter, and he's, uh, he's playing very well, and then Chase Westfall is his backup, and then they sneak Robert Hardaway in there a little bit. Uh, Irwin's a big kid. Uh, he plays, you know, plays hard. Uh, you know, now that I'm over there with him, uh, his technique and fundamentals have, have really improved uh, just because he's getting a lot of feedback at practice, right. whereas before he wasn't getting the play-to-play -play feedback uh, like, you, you know, when I stepped over. And Westfall's right behind him. You know, I remember we were in a meeting the other day, and I said, you know, he's going to be the guy next year. He's got a lot of talent and a lot of ability, but they're both, you know, quality guys. And, we're lucky to have two. Most teams are lucky if they have just one half of right. the tight end, and we got two good ones. Um, what's it been like for you to um, transition from being a football player to being a football coach? You know, it's, it's difficult uh, just because the kids are different and the mentality is different, and you know what, you know how they motivate you in college and what they say to you. I mean, you can't do that with you know high school kids. They'll crawl up in a ball and cry on you, but. <laughs> You know, it, it, it's different, uh, and it's different kids. So, it, you know, you got to dial it back, and you kind of got to think, you know, how was I when I was this kid, when I was this age? You know, what was my mindset? You know, what, what did I bring to the table as far as uh, school and everything and, you know, the outside influences? So, you know, it, it, it's different. Um, it's a lot of fun, though, to kind of work through those processes and figure out what motivates your kids. It's been, it's been fun for me to... Uh watch you grow uh, as, a, as, a, as a young man. Um, on a personal note, can you, would you tell us a little bit about, you know, what, who Cole Bennett is, the, the young man, the, the husband, the father? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, my wife's Lindsay, she's a pharmacist. Uh, we've got a two-year-old named Brax, and we got another one coming in January. Uh, you know, as far as me personally, you know, I'm <clears throat> pretty much the same kid I was. Uh, you know, I still work out all the time, play video games later, late at night, you know, longer than I should. Uh, but, you know, that's just, that's just who I am. Not much has changed. I'm just a little bit older. As um, far as your career now, what is it that you're doing? I'm teaching in the middle school, uh, teaching advanced and challenged math in seventh grade and having a lot of fun with that. How's that uh, transition from one side of the desk to the other? It's been a lot of fun. You know, you're getting to teach math and then throwing in some dusty roads and, and you know, other <laughs> stuff that's seemingly unrelated. But, you know, I try to make connections. Uh, it's been a lot of fun and uh, it's different for the kids. And, you know, getting to use technology and stuff is things they're not necessarily used to, but uh, you know, getting to spread that out and show them different things, it's been a lot of fun. Good. Uh, we've got just a few seconds left. Uh, we've got homecoming coming up this Friday night against Heritage. Uh, what do you know about them? They're uh, the, you know they spread it around. They got a quarterback we say has a live arm, which means he's going to throw it and uh, throw it around. They got some good good size, good looking kids. Uh, again, they're a very dangerous team because they don't play necessarily like their record. You know, they, they run some plays and give us some stuff on defense that, you know, we just can't go out there and, you know, expect to line up in base and, and win. You know, we've got to prepare for it and, uh, you know, work hard this week and hopefully have a good show on Friday. Okay. Cole, listen, thanks so much. It's uh, good talking to you. Uh, I think that's the longest I've ever heard you talk in your whole life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes after these messages. We got a hit. Ah, here comes dinner. <laughs> I'm not eating that. There's no place like Outback for our perfectly grilled shrimp and new royal port catch. I can't believe you guys didn't catch anything. Outback Steakhouse. No rules, just right. Train like a pro at Performance Sports Academy. Get one-on-one -on -one training from former professional and collegiate players, featuring indoor baseball and softball training facilities, ground ball area, three pitching mounds, and four batting cages. Performance Sports Academy is also available for team rentals. Call 706-537-3169 today and train like a pro at Performance Sports Academy. Honesty, integrity, and hard work, leadership, 
quality and value. Just a few words to describe the company and people that make up Shaw Industries. Shaw Industries, the world's leading carpet manufacturer, is proud to be a sponsor of Dalton Catamount Football. Shaw Industries, where great floors begin. Welcome back, and now for the first half highlights. Now, this is a really, really neat stadium. It's one of the, the stadiums that I really enjoy playing at. Um, the way everything's kind of built down almost on the side of the valley there, and, uh, you know, and, and our kids, you know, really enjoy, uh, <laughs> we enjoy being in those white uniforms. <laughs> it's a neat thing. The guys got to kind of get jacked up when we pull those white jerseys out, and, of course, they've been excited with a new look this year. We had a really good kickoff with Pepe Gardia come out with our defense and just right off the bat, the very first play, we, we basically smack them in the mouth. And, you know, that, that was the tone that we wanted to be set. What I'm more excited about anything was the excitement, though. And you're just going to see a relentless pursuit here by some of our defensive linemen, uh, Robert Hardaway and, and, and uh, uh, right here you're going to see Leighton Reese come in. Leighton had an outstanding game. And we're, we're going <clears> to <throat> we'll get a lot of mileage out of this film with some of the colleges that have been watching him. And you'll see a replay right here. Robert does a good job of containing him. He flushes him a little bit, but it made him a little deeper than he wanted to be. And when I said, well, just a great job of pursuit. And we've moved late and inside. So here we get into a punt. And this was just a, you know, when you're one and five, you have yeah. situations like this that happen. Yep. And, uh, you know, he caught the ball and, and, and went and, down. Yeah, went down. So we come right back and just run just a little old lead draw play with Kelvis. And, and, you know, Kelvis is a great runner. I love how you see the guys down the field blocking. It's something that we challenge them, but we see a little kick out there. Uh, and a great block there by Brandon Dale and another good job right here of Will Irwin getting down the field. And uh, then you see us just come back and, and run Robert Hardaway on just a straight dive play. And uh, Robert gets his, uh, gets his first touchdown, yeah. I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's great to see those guys get excited for each other. And like I said, Chipper, great job by Chipper Young there pulling around and logging. And uh, like I said, just a great job of our offense taking advantage of, of an opportunity like that. I heard people <clears> in the stands um, – for a change, went up and sat with the with the people. Right. The other yeah, night. yeah. And yeah. Uh, it was the one thing that they kept commenting was how our, our respective lines were doing, oh. both offensively and defensively. Yeah, and and that was definitely not this team's weakness. And you said another great job right here by Leighton Reese, yeah. uh, Elijah Stidman coming up yep. right there, Ethan Marlowe, Chris Childs, these guys, Jordan Keener, these guys. I love Edder Moore. He brings so much energy uh, to the night, you know, and just a great job right here. Leighton had four sacks the other night, and, uh, you know, that, that's big time. But what I was saying is, yeah, oh, had a oh. great play. Two weeks in a row now. Yeah, I know. Lyle Durham. Yeah, I think he also gets the award for the best celebration <laughs> after an interception. Well, you know, I've learned I'm not going to chest bump anybody no. yeah. uh, if I don't have pads on. Yeah, I figured just, that out after last week. He's worn himself out. That's right. But what a great one-handed play. Exactly. This is a play that Coach Carpenter had worked specifically on with the linebackers and as a little bait. That, uh, uh, that we ran. Another good job right here. We run a little pull play, and, and uh, you, know, you see our guys getting down the field. And as I was saying earlier, this was not their weakness. The line of scrimmage was actually one of their strengths. So uh, just a great job right here of our guys. And if you just see this push, you got guys flowing around the body, throwing their bodies around. And then Kelvis just, a good, just does a good job right here. He finds a hole and sneaks through it. Kelvis is just a, a good running back. He is. I mean, he, he's he just is a good crazy. running back. There's some things that, that, you know, he's not there yet. And, and, you know, we say to ourselves, gosh, wish he could do that. And you say to yourself, he's only 15. He's 15 years yeah, old. Yeah, he's 15. But Kelvis is averaging almost 27 runs a game. And uh, that, that's something that's kind of neat about that is, you know, with, with Trey Beck, he was only averaging 28 to 29 snaps a game, um, runs a game. And so that's, that's huge. Here's that big tight end that we were talking about. Right. They moved him to tell, I mean, moved him to fullback against us, wanting to pound us inside. But you see, we've got big, big Juan Pacheco in there, and, and of course Jordan Keener, and you know those guys. And it was obvious they were trying to utilize him. He was their definitely their best player. So we come out right here and run a little play action slant to Brandon Dale, and you know Brandon Dale's got great hands. He runs great routes, and uh, great That's thing about speed. Brandon, he's got great speed. That's right. Now I'm gonna get on to him for doing that carrying the uh, loaf of bread with the left yeah. hand bit, but, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll get over that. We yeah. can coach through that. 
But you'll see right here, good protection. Good job right here of, of Edder coming out on his route and pulling the linebacker away. And uh, then Brandon just, you know, I said, nice throw. And look, great throw by Calfee. And, and you just see right there, Brandon takes it, goes to the house with it. 65 yards for a touchdown. Another good snap. We've been getting great snaps this year out of Grant, right. uh, Grant Sane. You're going to talk with him a little bit later on in the show. And uh, just a great job of the hold there also uh, uh, with Brandon Painter. And uh, so we've been working a little bit. You see Chase Todd come in. He gets a great hit right here, pushes the ball, rushes the throw. And Chris Childs and, and, and Nathan Bryant have been doing an outstanding job in our secondary. Another good job right here of, of Jay Rockholt. Uh, get him back in his pack. So we flip the downs, go for a block. We don't get the block. They get the kickoff. And then you see Marvin. I think everybody's right. local hero right now. Everybody yeah. loves. Uh, but we get, it gets into a fourth down. And we've been looking for a good uh, opportunity to fake. And, and we were able to get one this week. And uh, uh, this is Ethan Fromm. And Ethan just does a great job of basically just being coachable. He does yeah. whatever we tell him to do. And you see him come back here. and uh, He's just a football player. Oh, he's he? a football player. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, great job. We pick up 26 yards on the play, which resets the downs now, and we get a first down. And, you know, that's always exciting uh, for our kids to, when you do something that you work on in practice. And uh, there's Ryan Young. Ryan Young's a member of our Black Watch guy that yep. gets these guys. Another great job right here. This was a, His hole was huge. Dakota Tankersley and Juan Pacheco, just op you see that they just open this up. He folds yep. underneath. And right there, Juan gets to the linebacker, which is, you think about a guy six foot two, three 340 pounds getting to the Mike linebacker. That's right. pretty amazing. But we got Chris Hicks in there now as well. We've got Will Irwin blocking downfield. And just a great job of Edder Moore. Uh, and I, we're, we're just, we're trying to find something he can't do, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's a special talent. He really is. Um, we turn the ball over here on, on, on downs and, and, and miss a, a field goal. Uh, opportunity by, by uh, trying to run a fake, and uh, we come back in here. Uh, defense gets the ball, turns it back over, and then our offense takes the ball here right before the half, and uh, before the half, and we're going to come back and run a little reverse. And uh, of course, Brandon Dale takes it, and you know Brandon's just got such good field vision, and he sees what he needs to, but he knows when it's time to put his head down, put his right. head down. So we get the ball down about the 18-yard line. Uh, and you'll see it one more time. Great block right here. Jake Roberts getting down the field. You see our, I mean, right there is big B.J. Rowland. Randy Nguyen. Randy had a good solid game as well. So we go into the half at 20 to nothing. Like I said, we were very happy with our kids uh, in the first half, but we knew that we needed to kind of get ourselves together coming right. into the second half. All right. Got car problems? That's no problem for AAA Transformers Transmission Specialists. Bring your foreigner domestic vehicle into AAA Transformers and have our certified master technicians perform the most comprehensive diagnostics over any other shop. AAA Transformers utilizes the latest technology so you can rest assured that you get the proper diagnosis the first time so only necessary repairs are made. Save time and money on all your brake, AC, tune-up, and transmission needs. All backed by the best warranty in the business. That's AAA Transformers Transmission Specialists. When is the last time you have compared your car, life, or health insurance costs? At Advanced Insurance Strategies, we know your time is valuable. Therefore, we have developed AdvancedInsuranceStrategies.com. You can now go online anytime, anywhere, and get quick and easy quotes for your car, life, or health insurance from respected companies such as Blue Cross Blue Shield of Georgia, Assurant Health, Alliant Health Plans, and Drive Insurance from Progressive. Receive unparalleled customer service from a local insurance agency while using AdvancedInsuranceStrategies.com. No, no problem with the deadline. Yeah, our internet service connection flies now that we have OptiLink. You're the star with OptiLink from Dalton Utilities. Local customer service, lightning fast internet, stellar phone and television at affordable rates. I'd like to thank Mike and Brian and IT for making all of this possible as well as Helen and personnel and my great OptiLink installer. Don't you deserve the star treatment? Sign up with OptiLink today. With OptiLink, I'm the star. AstroTurf is grateful to have been a part of this community over the last 40 years. And as Whitfield County has grown, AstroTurf has grown to be the leader worldwide in synthetic sports surfaces. Our assistance with the area parks and the new AstroTurf arena will hopefully show the community our appreciation. Soft, safe, and the most durable technology available today, AstroTurf, it's a new generation. This is not your father's AstroTurf.
And now we're back to the second half highlights. Yeah, the, uh, you know, halftime was a, an interesting situation. We, we didn't know if we had 20 or 25 minutes because of the, the oh, homecoming. homecoming. So, yeah, so uh, we wound up getting that worked out. We came out a little bit earlier than we wanted to. Once again, Brandon Dale, something we really spent a lot of time on is our special teams. Cleve Hall is one of our special teams players, a senior. And uh, you just see Cleve, he's one of our Black Watch t teammates as well. He and Kerry Deals, you see a great job right here on the, uh, on the line making their blocks. We talk about just keeping that core tight and letting those guys make their blocks from there. And uh, Chase Westfall, Chase Todd, they go basically, we, we go five here, plays here and switch it over on downs. Uh, and uh, just a great job. Nice Grant Sane, yeah, and Grant Sane, it, you know, he's a snapper. Yeah, but but I can't tell you he's had three saves this year already, yeah. uh, and then he's made uh, outstanding just tackles on certain plays. This is another one of those situations where we were, we wanted to try to get a safety here. Great job of Jordan Keener, just squeezing down right there and allowing Leighton to come in from the other side. Rock Holt had one of his best games by far, uh, and here you know like I said That's they were big fullback. oh yeah and that big number seventy nine the Samoan yeah. uh, he was something else. But we try to go after it, we just miss it. Uh, we work on that every game, but it does force a bad punt. And uh, so we get the ball around the 27-yard line. And uh, just a great job of Kelvis right here. Good kick-out block. You know, that right there, uh, you know, is one of those things where, yeah, right here we just took our, you know, just took our eyes off. And, and you know, it's just part of it. And uh, he's young. We'll get, we're going to coach through that. I never questioned his effort. Oh, and no. he's just well, a he, phenomenal player. He beat himself up on the sidelines <clears throat> oh, yeah, after yeah. he came off. I absolutely, heard. absolutely. But just a great job here. Jay Rockholt sees that play, sees what we call an open door. He flies through it, makes a great tackle. See Lyle Durham right here yeah. come up in here and plug the middle plug right the here. You know, by this point in the game, you knew you knew kind of what their, their philosophy was, and we tried our best. But here, watch this by Edward. Oh, this is just outstanding. Just And I tell you, I'm going to bring back a name from, from the past, uh, and I hope we can go back and show Chris Chris Childs on this the, is, is unbelievable. Now, this I'm trying to figure out. He's... <laughs> Like a new phone trying yeah, to get up yeah. down there, you know. I think it's just the shock of, of scoring, you know. Yeah. But uh, Drew Parks. This is one of those Drew Parks type okay. runs, you know, if you remember Drew. Yeah, I do. But watch Chris right here. Chris, you're going to see him. He gets a great block. Oh, yeah. Bam. Comes back. his another one. And, and he's going to wind up. You see Brandon Dale. It's just great to see these guys. They all understand everybody's success depends on somebody else. That's what and I that's what Yeah, and that's exactly and that's what excites me. You know, those guys wanted Edder to score. They right. wanted Jerry to score this week. They wanted Marvin to score last week. And that to me, that's the things that make yeah. the, this game special. And I know it's why myself and a lot of the coaches are in it. We bring in Pepe. We were trying to get some points here, uh, you know, on the kickoff. Yeah, and yeah. He, you know that we told Puts him we, the goal post. Yeah, exactly right. Another great job right here of Elijah setting the corner, which oh, opens the door for, for Rockholt to be able to come in and make the play. And you'll see what I'm talking about. He sets the yeah. corner, and then there comes Rockholt. And once again, there's Leighton just Layton. jumping in. and you know, From you, nose tackle. Yeah, from nose tackle. So just a great, great, great job right here. <clears throat> then you see right here another good job of Leighton just squeezing down. And I mean, he had, I think he had 12 tackles along with four sacks. So that's huge for someone on our defensive line. And yeah, then here, know. this is just Kelvis getting shot out of a gun. Yeah. I he mean, has such a burst to that first, that first five It's yards. amazing. It really is amazing. He's in full gear. I mean, the time he hits a line of scrimmage. Absolutely. And you'll see it right here, and it's just about right oh, now. Yeah. Bam. Yeah. He just sticks his foot in the grass and gets upfield. Once again, though, Chris Childs making a great key block down the field. And, you know, those guys, that's what I'm saying, those guys understand that they're a part of it. And then Daniel Palacios yeah. uh, coming in, and we wanted to get him some kicks first as year. well. First yeah, year. first year. First that's year so senior. awesome. You know, we go from last year only having one kicker this year. We got four. Great job of Elijah Stidman and obviously, once again, Leighton Reese yep. forcing a bad pitch right here and just a great job of us pursuing in there. Once again, we kind of get a little knuckleball. This is one of our freshmen, Jordan Adams, and it's exciting to see him come in and contribute. Uh, we're going to try to be getting him some more reps. And so now we go into the fourth quarter. We're up 34 to nothing. Allows us an opportunity to now begin to work on our Wildcat offense. That's and, Brandon. Uh, that's right. And that's when we put Brandon at quarterback. We move some other guys around, which kind of helps as far as some of our linemen. It gives them a break. So we get some other linemen in, some other receivers. Great job right here of him just once again getting his field vision, seeing up the field, getting what he can. You know, he's got a little move in him. I think he wanted to go to homecoming, it looks like, as well. A little <laughs> dance move. So, but great job right here of just riding Jerry out there, opening up the middle. Gets the ball down inside the 10-yard line, I believe. 
Plus, and, if uh, other teams knew Brandon like we know Brandon, they oh, know yeah. there's no way he's going to hand that ball off. No, That's no way. That's my ball. That's right. That's <laughs> mine. You kidding me? You're snapping it to me. You, you want me to do something with it? But a great job here. We, we a great job on fourth down. Obviously, it's a tough situation. Do you kick? Do you not? It's a great opportunity for us to get Jerry Marino Jerry a touchdown. Marino. Jerry excited. Marino is the consummate team player, Absolutely. and he earned this touchdown not sure just is. this night. He learned it a long time ago. Well, I think the boys were. Oh, look at him. They were ecstatic. Oh, this is great, that. man. And when he gets over on the sidelines, I think he gets hit harder by yeah. our teammates come over and yeah, jacking they... him up because they're all excited. I mean, even our ball boys. So, <clears throat> anyhow, great job. Another good snap and hold. And uh, we go up 41 to nothing. Come back and uh, we get a, another good deep kickoff. A uh, great job right here of Rock Hope pursuing down the field. Jace Chastain is another freshman that's coming in and playing for us. Right here you see uh, Chase Todd coming in and Kerry Deals. And once again, you've got Lyle Durham on a great play. Big Lee, uh, you know, Cleve Hall coming up, making a play. And Devontae Davis. So now we're beginning to get Jerry, uh, uh, Larry Fernandez. We got him in the game. So it's good to be able to get a lot of these guys in. And here it's a safety. And once again, one of those unfortunate things that happens. And I know it feels yeah. like the... The walls are kind of pouring yep. in when it happens. Good job here of our offense, though. We, we were able to come back, and they have to punt off the safety, uh, and uh, we're able to get all of our young kids in, Peter Sigmund, Evan Stewart, uh, Andrew Williams. We're able to get him, and, uh, you know, you start looking at some of these guys, Logan Mathis. Uh, just great to see how hard these guys work and, and to see them in there. Hunter Nelson's in there. Dakota Tankersley's still in there. Chase Westfall. Uh, it's just it's great to see these kids getting to be rewarded on Friday night. So once again, just a great job by our Catamounts. I really appreciate all the fans that came out. And, uh, you know, once again, it was just a good night for the Cats. And, uh, you know, we, we hope to just see some more success like that down the road. So Absolutely. hope you come back after these messages. Wood, 299. Wood, 159. Set. Mike Jones here, and you better blister Carpet Express. We have three-quarter inch hardwood for $2.99 a square foot. We have engineered wood for $1.59 a square foot. And to help you reach your goal to put wood in your home, Carpet Express is offering a 25 cent a square foot rebate. So rush into Carpet Express while supplies last, because everybody's out to get their quarterback. Have you ever heard the term, your eyes are your expressions, the windows to your soul? But when your eyelids look tired and they start to sag, it will make you look much older than you actually are. There is a simple surgical procedure called a blepharoplasty or eyelid tuck, which can help to rejuvenate and redefine the contours around your eyelids. It will even improve your fields of vision and a portion may even be covered by insurance. We can help redefine how others see you. No, I'm not at home today. No, now I can have all of my phone calls forwarded and do all kinds of cool things now that I've signed up with OptiLink. You're the star with OptiLink from Dalton Utilities. Local customer service, lightning fast internet, stellar phone and television at affordable rates. I'd like to thank my mom and my friend Cassie and the phone guy from OptiLink. Don't you deserve the star treatment? Sign up with OptiLink today. With OptiLink, I'm the star. At Hamilton, quality drives everything. Welcome back to the Catamount Football Show. And Coach, uh, as we look forward to this Friday night, we've got homecoming at Harmon Field with right. Heritage coming to town. That's right. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the scouting report on Heritage? Well, Heritage is a, is a good football team. Their, their schedule is not going to reflect that, uh, but their talent will. And they've got some kids, as they've always had. Last year they graduated 33 seniors, wow. which were fourth-year seniors. Now, that's not mm -hmm. meaning that... <laughs> 
<laughs> that, you know, they were four years at seniors, like right. Jeff Foxworthy says, but four years seniors in the fact that they started the school right. and they were there. And basically all those kids started for four straight that's years. Right. So, uh, you know, that's, that's one of the reasons that they're, they're still young. They're still trying to find some guys uh, on the field to make some plays for them. But outside of that, you see some spots that they're really, really a good football team. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems that over the last couple of weeks, they've really kind of simplified their offense, simplified their defense and uh, they've really kind of settled on what's them. And I think they've really gotten better the last couple of weeks. We've got a couple of films from them early in the season and then a couple here late. And so, uh, you know, it, it's, they're, they're a team that's going to be more than willing to come in here and give us everything that we want. Try and uh, ruin homecoming. Absolutely. Though. And they got plenty to play for. Uh, but once again, as we talked about earlier with, with LaFette, you know, they're playing with house money. They've got right. nothing to lose. So to me, they're a very dangerous team because they could come in here and do something completely different than what right. they've shown on film. So, you know, what they've got is on offense, they've got a young man that's, that's quarterback for them. They throw the ball a pretty good bit. They're about 60-40. So they run a lot, but at the same time, they throw the ball very, very effectively. Uh, they've got two or three routes that give us some problems because of the way our defense is set up. Okay. So we're going to have to make some adjustments. Some of our kids are going to have to play some things that they've not played, uh, which will be new for us. Uh, from a defensive standpoint, um, it, they're kind of unique. Uh, most teams will shift back and forth, back and forth between a three-man front and a four-man front. Um, very few teams will shift back and forth from a three-man front to a four-man front to a five-man front. Hmm. And that's kind of a whole different blocking package now that we're going to have. So, like I said, while you know they're a team on record, we're going to look at and maybe just go, wow, this team's not that good. The truth is they do some things that for us will be very complicating. Right. So we're going to have to spend some real time this week breaking this team down, getting into you know some little nuances that they do well, and then finding out how we can kind of use what we do to, uh, to kind of compound some of those, uh, those situations that they could give us and maybe us take advantage of it. Uh, what kind of distractions does homecoming present to you as a coaching staff? <laughs> you know, that's one thing I remember about Coach Chapel. He could not stand homecoming. I mean, it was just, you know, and, and it, it's not that he didn't like homecoming. Right. It's just for him, everything was about the game. Right. And then everything about homecoming has nothing to do with the game. It's right. about pageantry and parades and who's throwing candy. And, and those are all the, that's, that's what makes high school homecoming so awesome. Right. Is, you know, my, my little boy, I mean, he don't know anything about homecoming. But yet, you know, this morning he wakes up, but hey, when, when's the parade? You know, he knows candy. You right. know, he's figured that aspect out. So it's a great event for our community. Right. Uh, it's a great event to see our alumni come back for. The pet session to me is always fun because right. you see those three classes that have, you know, some of these, this first time coming in, they're going to be coming this year into a new gym floor. Right. Uh, they're going to be coming into a lot of things that we've changed in the building that we've upgraded, uh, coming into a new addition that we've put onto the, to the, right. uh, to the building. So it's going to be exciting being a host of the high school to be able to welcome some of our alumni back and uh, have them come in and, and kind of see it. One of the things that's going to be coincidental that is going to be a band reunion. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, that's cool. Like we did last year with yeah, the football yeah. team recognized the decades. Yes. Uh, the band's doing the same thing. So oh, we're that's gonna, awesome. We're looking at having a whole bunch of people that's there. That's awesome. That's uh, awesome. They're coming in from all over the country. So that's uh, good. there's going to be a lot of stuff going on at Dalton High School this week. That's good. That's good. I hope everybody comes out for that because that's what makes it good is when you got a lot of people there well, to enjoy. I've got a whole it. section right roped off for the, for the, for the <laughs> oh, alumni band. Great. They're oh, gonna, that's They're awesome. going to march in the parade. Oh, the that's whole good. Bit, so that's uh, good. Excited that's about good. It. That's good. That's um, good. That's good. You know, I believe our alumni classes are the classes of 62, 72, 82, mm -hmm. 92. So it's uh, going to be a lot of fun this week, a busy week. Absolutely. Um, Those classes represent a lot, a lot of successes oh, at Dalton yeah. High School, Absolutely. so it'll be good to have them Absolutely. back. Absolutely. All right, Coach. Well, listen. Um, Again, homecoming this Friday night with Heritage coming to town. That's right. uh, what's the one thing that uh, you're really going to have to keep your kids focused on? Well, I think we just got to keep them focused on that. For us, it's a game. Coach Chapel used to always say, homecoming's not for us. <laughs> you know, it's the, the game's for us. And so we're okay. going to focus on our kids being ready to play this football game. And homecoming's always more enjoyable when you can go to that dance after sure. winning. So, you know, we're going to be focused on the game, and I'm, I'm excited for our kids that they're going to be playing in front of a big crowd, and uh, I know that they're already feeling it. So it's going to be a good night, and we'll be sure we invite everybody to come out and support the Cats. We'll be back right after these messages.
A restaurant should be more than just a place to eat. Enjoy community, tradition, and unbeatable home-style cooking at the Oakwood Cafe, located in historic downtown Dalton. Our food, fair prices, and friendly staff have made the Oakwood Cafe one of the fastest-growing businesses in Georgia. We offer catering services that can bring our distinctive flavor anywhere. We also provide the opportunity to team up with us through franchising. Whether you're a newcomer or a regular, stop by and have the dining experience you've needed. Come feel at home with us at the Oakwood Cafe. We got a hit. Ah, here comes dinner. Ha. I'm not eating that. There's no place like Outback for our perfectly grilled shrimp and new royal port catch. I can't believe you guys didn't catch anything. Outback Steakhouse. No rules, just right. Train like a pro at Performance Sports Academy. Get one-on-one -on -one training from former professional and collegiate players, featuring indoor baseball and softball training facilities, ground ball area, three pitching mounds, and four batting cages. Performance Sports Academy is also available for team rentals. Call 706-537-3169 today and train like a pro at Performance Sports Academy. Honesty, integrity, and hard work, leadership, quality, and value. Just a few words to describe the company and people that make up Shaw Industries. Shaw Industries, the world's leading carpet manufacturer, is proud to be a sponsor of Dalton Catamount Football. Shaw Industries, where great floors begin. Got car problems? That's no problem for AAA Transformers Transmission Specialists. Bring your foreigner domestic vehicle into AAA Transformers and have our certified master technicians perform the most comprehensive diagnostics over any other shop. AAA Transformers utilizes the latest technology so you can rest assured that you get the proper diagnosis the first time so only necessary repairs are made. Save time and money on all your brake, AC, tune-up, and transmission needs. All backed by the best warranty in the business. That's AAA Transformers Transmission Specialists. We're back with the Catamount Football Show, and uh, Coach, um, I've enjoyed being with you. Well, it's good uh, to have you here. It's uh, been a good on time. The show today. Um, busy time this time of year, yeah. you know, not just yeah. the football, but uh, just across the whole spectrum of the sports with Dalton High School. Mm -hmm. um, how do you accommodate that into your schedule and stuff as the head football coach and stuff? What kind of well, things do you do? Well, you know, I think one of the things about Dalton High football that is unique is that there's such a connective tissue between all of our sports, whether it's girl sports, guy sports, whether it's football, cheerleading, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the band, the one act play that's going on, you know, we just got so much going on at Dalton High School. And, you know, if, you're, if your child attends Dalton High School or you want your child to attend Dalton High School, uh, there's just so many different experiences that they get. I just see us as a football team. We're just we're a piece of that. Right. You know, we're 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 one part of it. Uh, but what I do know is we're probably one of the largest parts. So to me, we have a huge responsibility. The other night, Coach Wills invited our football team to come up to the the girls' volleyball game right. against uh, I think it was Chastity. Yeah, we, we had a ball, man. Yeah. And you know, I'm look up there and here's my lineman, and here, they're going crazy. Right. You know, we didn't have time to paint our chest. You know, right. we would have done that, but. You know, it's just great to see that. So I just see us as part of that connected tissue. But we've had a lot of success in all of our other sports. What are some of those other successes that we've had kind of well, across the... Well, you mentioned the... volleyball already. They've, uh, they're going to the second round now of the state tournament. They That's won awesome. their first round game uh, the other night against Chesity. Mm -hmm. uh, they play this coming week. Uh, I think we're having to travel. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, trying to remember... Uh, Woodland, either. Woodland, I, I believe, yeah, Woodland. Yeah. So we go there and play them. Um, but Joey's done a nice job with those girls, mm -hmm. and um, we've got some real players on that team. I'm thinking of Susan oh, yeah. especially. Man. She she's uh, she's yeah. a beast at the net. Oh yeah. So, uh, but um, anyway, we've got them going on. Our girls softball team just uh, uh, finished up their season. They went to the second round in the state tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, went down to um, Columbus 
uh, Georgia had played Columbus High School, who was one of the top mm -hmm. teams oh, in the yeah. state. Yeah, sure. Got beaten two games, but uh, took them to the wire both games. Wow, that's uh, awesome. But they, Jeff McKinney, uh, did a nice job with those girls uh, with Lacey Cockrell and uh, JB Brotherton helping out. Oh, wow. uh, did a did a nice job uh, this sure. year. Real proud of them. Um, cross country is still in season. Mm -hmm. uh, they're winding uh, toward their region uh, tournament right now. Our boys team is one of the top uh, team boys teams in the whole area. Wow, that's and I awesome. think they've got a really good chance of winning region this year and uh, placing as a team for the state. Our girls team uh, is led by uh, Becca Houston. Uh, Becca is probably the top female runner in our whole area. Wow, that's great. <clears throat> and uh, has a really good chance of uh, being uh, region champion as, a, as an individual. Uh, Karen Gallion and Pam Brack have done a oh, great yeah, job right. uh, coaching them. Uh, Girls cheerleading, our competition cheerleading squad, Tammy Fleming uh, and Shalisa Love, uh, that squad there, they've uh, been going to weekend contests. You know, after Friday night, they go home, mm -hmm. get up early the next morning, and they're on the road. Right. And they've come back with, uh, I believe, three first place trophies and That's a awesome. second place. And they're gearing up for the uh, state championships, or well, the region and then the state uh, back in Columbus. And uh, I think they've got a lot of high hopes about uh, doing well. They were, I believe they finished fifth in the state last year. And uh, their aspirations are to be much higher this year. Good. So uh, Good. Uh, the girls have worked hard. Uh, they, they, it's amazing watching what they're physically capable mm -hmm. of doing, flipping around oh, yeah. and all that stuff. And, yeah. and Tammy and Shalisa do a great job with them. But, uh, you know, it, it's just exciting. You know, I think I, I ran numbers here a few months ago about uh, the total amount of participation that we have in our extracurricular activities. Um, and it's, um, it, it's two thirds of our kids uh, That's awesome. are, are involved in something. You know, you mentioned one act play, West Finney uh, mm -hmm. with, with, our, with our one act play team. They went this past weekend uh, to a state competition. Uh, and they're always in the top. They, they've been mm -hmm. region champions the last couple of years. Uh, I've done very well at the state. And um, I haven't heard yet what they did this weekend, but uh, I'm anxious to find out. But uh, it's just uh, exciting to be a part of all that, mm -hmm. and um, I'm proud to be a part of that. And well, I know you a, are too. it's a great experience at Dalton High School, and you know we just want to make sure that everybody knows there's so much more going on than what we we're, at, we're able to show on this TV show. And hopefully, as we go through this these last remaining weeks, we're able to expose maybe a little sure. bit more and do some other things. Good so. idea. And we'll do this again, same cat time. Same cat channel.